Hello everyone, and this is Battle Phoenix here, and today, for the 64th episode, we're going to be taking a look at an N64 game. And as for the month of October, I really had no idea what kind of game I could do on the N64 that is somewhat horror related. I mean, I already talked about Nightmare Creatures. Or I could have done the N64 version of Resident Evil 2, but if I was going to be doing that, I'd do a whole review feature on that. Same thing with the Castlevania game on 64. So I had to dig deep a little bit, and I think I might have actually dug something up. And of course, that happened to be Carmageddon 64, which was developed by Software Creations and published by Titus Software, and it was released in the year 2000. Now before I go on, you're probably asking yourself, why the hell did you pick this out of all things? Well, in case you didn't know, there's actually zombies in this game, so therefore, it actually makes sense. Well, at least for the month of October anyways. So the Carmageddon series originally started out as a PC game, but of course they did have many different ports. And the one I'm taking a look at is the N64 port, obviously, and just so you know, this is actually a port of Carmageddon 2. Kinda weird how they just call it Carmageddon 64 rather than just Carmageddon 2, but whatever, it's not really a big deal. So all these games are actually car combat games mixed with racing. Now someday I would like to take a look at the entire series from beginning to end, but the thing is, I think for now, we're just gonna get this one out of the way first. You'll thank me later. So let's begin to talk about the very little story that this game has. In the year 2026, and there are solar flares affecting the Earth's atmosphere, and anyone who is exposed to the fumes will turn into zombies. I don't know why this hasn't happened to everyone, but whatever. So all the drivers are just going around doing their own business or running over other zombies. Until there are some authorities that want to use these people for a contest, and the winner will get to live in an off-world island. And that's all I really have to say, it's nothing too special. But thankfully, this is not the reason why you play this game. So I don't need to explain the rest of that, then again, it's all written in bland text anyway. So there are four modes within this game, there is Carmageddon mode, which is just a story mode, Quick Start, which is just a free race, and then there's Head to Head, which is two players, and I have to admit, the symbol that they use for this one kind of makes me laugh. And then there's Practice, which is just, you know, practice. And in total, the amount of characters, there's 23 of them, and I have to admit, that's actually quite a lot for this game, I was not expecting it to have that many. But you only start off with two, which is Max Damage and Diana. Get it? Cause die, Anna. Yeah, it's pretty corny, but it's funny. And then there is an exclusive character that you have to unlock later on, and his name is Mr. Whip, and he drives an ice cream truck, and he happens to wear a Wario hat. And I gotta admit, that's actually kinda cool. I'm a Wario. I'm a gonna win. So the whole objective to this game is that there are three ways to win. Win the entire race, destroy all the zombies, or just kill everyone off the track. It seems pretty simple enough, but sometimes it's not always that easy. And the reason why I say this is because let's take a look at the controls, and all I have to say is that they are completely ass fuck farts. And why I say that so casually, I have no idea why, but anyways, yeah, the controls in this game are just completely horrible. Now the button layout is okay, it's just the steering is just complete fucking garbage. You steer a little bit and you just go around all over the place, it's just fucking terrible. So need I say more? Nah, not real. the controls are just fucking over here and fucking over there and just fucking all over the place. Now as for the game's graphics, they're on the bland side. Now this isn't like the worst looking N64 game I've ever seen, but it's definitely not the best. And yeah, like I said, the textures are just really really bland, but everything else looks okay. I mean, at least the cars look alright. The zombies are a bit off looking too, but then again, here's something I may have to explain. Now if you're familiar with the original version of Carmageddon, you know that you have to run over people, not zombies. And there's a chance that someone out there might be thinking, well that's because Nintendo censored it because they're against everything. Which is completely not true, because even the PS1 version also has zombies. Although that version was only released in the PAL region, but still, it had zombies as well, meaning that it wasn't just Nintendo that was trying to censor this game. Besides, the time when the N64 came around, Nintendo was done censoring games from third parties, so no, they did not censor it at all. But one thing that is really strange is that, in the German version of the N64 game, they replaced the zombies with dinosaurs. I guess there were zombies or zombies activists that complained about it there. But with that aside, there is one good thing I do have to admit with the graphics, and that is that at least they got the level design right. Yeah, the textures make it look ugly, but if you just look at just the layout of the track, it actually looks like how it's supposed to be. So the graphics are not completely bad, but at least they do have like some good things going on, but uh, not a whole lot. Now as for the music in this game, it's kinda eh. It's nothing that memorable, and it isn't like the worst thing I ever heard, but it definitely doesn't really sound all that great. 
And I also find that the song doesn't really suit the game very well, so I guess in that department it fails at that too. So overall I have to say the music is pretty blah, and using the word blah is the best way to describe something. Okay, not really, but to be serious though, it's nothing all that special. Now if you dare yourself to buy this game, it's gonna cost usually about $15 around. I'm not entirely sure what the exact price point is, at least for a loose cart, but apparently the complete in box, this game is like $150, and all I have to say is that if you pay that much for this game, I'd feel sorry for you, because this game is an absolute pile of puke. And now if I were to rate this game, I'm gonna have to give it a 2 out of 10. Clearly, this game fucking sucks, mostly for its terrible controls, and the game is just not fun to play at all. Now the reason why I'm giving this a 2 out of 10 and not a 1 is because at least they got a whole bunch of cars that you can use, and the level design is actually alright. But other than that, this game is just completely awful and it's forgettable, and honestly, the fact that this game is related to Carmageddon is just a disgrace. Because I have to say, the PC versions of these games are actually fucking fun. Except this one, because this game is a load of baloney that came out of Titus, even though I know Titus didn't make the game. They were also infamously known for making Superman 64, which, you know, I think we all know what that game is like. But yeah, this game is probably just as bad as that, if you can even believe that. And at this point on, I can officially say that this was probably the worst racing game I ever played on the system. So your best bet to do with this game is just put it under a car and run it over back and forth. Then after you do that a couple of times, you might want to take a piss on it, but make sure not to stand too close to it or else some bacteria might get into your wang. So fuck this version of Carmageddon, fuck Titus, and also fuck Titus from FFX because he sucks. And also it's just funny to blame him on everything, so either way, it sucks and I'm tired of talking about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video, hopefully more than I enjoyed playing it, and thank you for watching and commenting. Out of my way, jerk ass!